the back and forth with the Mamluks has been incredible, to say the least. Uh, losses on both sides are incredibly high. Uh, however, we have manpower. Well, kind of, sort of. We have more manpower than they do. If you take a look here at our war enemies here, Mamluks only have 5% professionals, and we still have 19. So that means as long as we're trading at least one for one, we win. Uh, and they are currently fleeing away from here. So all is well on this front. So what we need to do here is we need to have these guys come over here. And uh, we need to start sieging back some stuff here. So what we need to do is consolidate land over here. Get the ticking war score in our favor. And uh, get started on uh, winning this dang war. Hadramut wants out. You know what? That's fine with me. So now it's just a mano y mano. Me against the Mamlex. I hope you guys are all having an absolutely wonderful day. Welcome back to Ethiopia in uh, 1.32 Origins in the EU4. Hope that you guys have been enjoying the campaign because I certainly have. They're offering a white piece. That is a strong no from me because we plan to uh, make it hurt for these guys. I want to make it hurt. No, no questions asked. It's going to hurt. So I will say this, though. Let me see here. I think I want uh, no special infantry so we'll go with that and then have these mercs head over to juna but these this crew over here this fort is this province is not scorched so i will scorch it just to make sure that uh if the mammies are feeling frisky they won't be able to do anything i'm gonna get these guys all grouped up here and we're gonna have to start slowly 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 marching north See, um, as far as military access goes, it's just us and them. So this is good. We have ticking war score and it will go up now. Now, we don't need to be blockading the straits anymore. Well, what I will do is I'll leave one ship behind and then this Navy can come up here and start blockading these Jans. Very good. Might even be able to kill a ship or two. That would be uh, war five or three. Steal a light ship. What we will do is we'll come over here and we will blockade the crap out of these guys. Oh, shoot. See, I didn't... Oopsies. Yeah, that was me being dumb. Anyways, no big deal. Let's have these guys head up this way. Sukkot. Very cool. Ay, ay, ay. All right, we'll have our mercs head on down that way to handle them. That is fine. And we'll have these... Oh, Really? This is my chance. I could steal Cairo this way. Okay. So this is a little trick I'm going to show you guys. You can... This siege right here is on 14%. Now, depending on how many men there are, and you can see here, they only have 6,000 men here. If I can get in here before they take it... Oh, they didn't take it. So 35% chance. Well, they're probably going to get another roll here. Anyways, if we can get there, very good. So what's going to happen is, is we're going to take over this siege and instantly win it. No, 42%. Very solid. And we've also won our siege over here. So we can get these guys over here to carpet siege. Mercs down here. Very good. We are in a good spot. Now, these uh, this navy over here is doomed. We've won the siege of Cairo. If you can believe that. Let's scorch them. How many men? They got 30,000 men somewhere. Where? I don't know. Let's get over here. Siege down the... Uh, I always call it the bread basket. What's it actually called? Granary of the Mediterranean, I believe. Yes. National tax. I don't care. Very solid. So they are marching their armies over, but we are at 52% war score now. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Now, it would be smart of us to start uh, consolidating some land over here. Now, that's quite a bit, but something like this would be solid, right? And then even see if we can get some war reps, some money. Oh my gosh. This will pay off our debt, right? What's our national debt at? 800? So that's not bad. This is like pr pretty solid. Oh yeah. Very good. So we're going to take all of this clay here. That's nice. That's some nice border changes there. The Mamluks are absolutely just gutted right now. Conqueror Swakin, which will give us... Uh, Restoration of Christianity. Um, I don't know about all that, but the government reform progress is nice. I'll take that. Uh, so that will change the religion to Coptic, which will promptly be changed to the true faith, of course. 
So I gotten a comment, or I was I talked to one of the developers. Um where was it here? Yeah, I think it's this guy here. One of these um these aspects is causing the re the like changes in the relations here. Uh, you can see how it jumped down there, and then it's gonna go right back up immediately. It's a it's apparently a bug. It's supposed to be fixed in the uh, next patch, not in the point one update, which is what I'm on right now, but in the point uh, two update. Here we go. How about it, man? That was a solid war. I had some people who had lost faith in me. People were saying that I was washed up. I wasn't gonna be able to handle it. Nay, I say. Nay, I say. All right. But uh, as far as income goes, let's see here. Our advisors are super expensive. This guy's half off though, so I'm gonna keep him. Yeah, you know, I'm okay with this. Army maintenance, yeah. Well, that's because we're reinforcing. So it should be much cheaper even now. Obviously, we need to buy our inflation down. So it's like we're just kind of in a rough spot right now when it comes to all this stuff. Because we need to get our inflation down while also coring up all this land that we just took. Let these guys come down here. So I like to sort by development. And then, uh, you know, core up stuff that's most affordable. I know I have a little bit of war exhaustion, but um, I can't be asked to wait. Go with like these cheaper ones right now first off. So I will, I think I will uh, decrease our fort here. And I also need to make sure that we are devving up the colonialism. Oh, man, we're just like so behind. We're so behind. <sighs> POV, you're playing outside of Europe. So let's in the... Yeah, I can't do that. We need to core it first. Definitely need to core it first. I also need to pay off our debts. So let's pay off... At least those guys. That'll help out with our interest a bit. Yep. There we go. Solid. So that handles all those rebels over there, which is great. Now, the reason why I'm holding off on the more expensive ones is just because they are going to be... They scale the most with war exhaustion. So as our war exhaustion continues to go down, we'll be able to get those guys. No, just it's It'll save us the most mana if we're really trying to save the mana. But it feels good, man. After those two enforced truces, that enforced pieces that they did on us, boy, did that feel good. So let's also take a look at our mission tree, because I don't think I've really put a whole lot of time into this. Centralize the state. Government reform, tier six. Well, that is uh, soon, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So within the next few months, we'll be able to get that one. Uh, so let's see what else we need for that. Biblical Sabbath reform. Estate privilege, biblical Sabbath reform. Okay, I can take a look at that. Um... Religious unity of at least 90. Okay. Absolutism of at least 40 or stability of at least three or making at least nine paper mana a month. We are making 10. So we will, that sh one should be a green check then, right? Oh, all of the following, right? So we need at least three stab and, okay. So that'll come in time. Collar regiments and army professionalism. Okay. So let's drill the armies. These guys down here are going to suppress. We... Might have rebels. I don't know. As our war exhaustion goes down, it's going to be less likely over time. So, especially as we can finish these cores as well. Mm. I don't know. The chance goes down each month, but that doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Okay. Navy was the MVP that time around because it made it so we could focus on one front. So I do also need to turn my forts off. We have prosperity. We have a lot of prosperity, actually. Very solid. Let's turn our forts off here. And the next reform shall be... Minimal autonomy and territories, right? That's fine with me. No, actually, Latassama allows you to core more stuff. Or full state more stuff. So we can full state all this stuff up here. The minimal autonomy of territories doesn't mean anything if you have everything cored up, right? Makes sense. Uh, let's go with the manpower. One more province to state up and it looks like we're going to be able to avoid this guy the people are pleased tolerance to the true faith legendary i love that uh sure i will definitely take that matter of fact i'm also going to yoink some crown land we need to be doing that be, di be diligent about that um well shoot okay i guess we're going to lose that i mean uh, not really worth but uh you know it is what it is 
should probably see if we can switch to an inflation reduction guy. Yeah, we're going to do that. I don't know if we've gotten radical reforms yet. If we haven't, we'll be actually able to push for that. So that would be good. That'll save us a lot of money as well. Okay. Very good though, huh? How about it? Oh, we can trade company stuff up here. What's our... Um... Oh, okay. Well, I don't think so because what we're probably going to end up doing is once we get more trade power up here, we're going to move our capital up there um, eventually. So we do need to make sure that we are either taking tech or deving. So which one do we want to do? 10 or on 9? These guys are on 10. I'm going to dev. I'm going to dev. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So let's uh, set you guys on dev cost. Our dev cost is good. Home of the Jews. Renaissance capital city. We need our burgers a little more loyal. So we're going to wait on them. As well as some prosperity. Eh, no, probably going to be too long for that. But that's okay. Oh, come on now. Of course, there's going to be more separatism down here. Unavoidable. Luckily, tolerance is super good. If I, if I vassalize these guys, I'll be able to reconquest a ton of clay over there. So let's just do that. Yep, this is fine, actually. I'll have this guy head on down there with our siege guy. And then I'll, I'll have the rest of my army come down here. And then these guys come down here. And then we'll just handle the war. Pull these guys out here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a 12 stack of, uh, okay. Well, that's no good for me. Okay, let's have this army actually head on over here then. This guy's not messing around. All right, Aiden, let's get you guys over there to back, get you guys, uh. Okay, they attacked me, so serves you right, I guess. go with trade efficiency I actually don't recall if I got uh, radical reforms or not so these guys are getting sieged in a different war so it doesn't matter if I get over here and blockade them I'll probably be able to piece them out right have enough war score with them I do not sadly okay now what I'm doing is I'm waiting until these guys get 60 loyalty that way we will get the 10% dev cost very important. All right. Aiden does not want out. So I guess we're waiting for them to get it annexed. There we go. All right, Aiden. Come on now, you jerks. These guys will do nothing. So we're good. All right. Let's convert the stuff. Actually, let's convert the stuff that's given us the most unity issues. So, oh my gosh. We need to get up to 90. Switch you guys over to attrition as well. Ooh, hair. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so if you're wondering, Radical Reforms is an event that you can get once per campaign whenever you have both an inflation reduction and a trade efficiency guy. Uh, now, I want to keep both of them because they're both solid. So what I do is I fire them and uh, you basically fire both of them via the event, but you can't fire them if they're not in your court, right? So then you just rehire them and uh you get 200 mana for a little bit of money right that that's that's the only thing we paid was a little a little bit of cash right so that's solid now i would really like to get religious ideas finished out the sooner i get an i or i admin tech though we'll be able to get another idea group i don't know man where are we at with our Merc? Okay, so I think we're just going to do this. I'm actually going to spend admin as well. Spend the least amount of admin possible, so. There we go. Colonialism is here. Colonialism is here. We'll be able to embrace it probably pretty cheap if I had to guess. Oh, just kidding. Psych. <laughs> that's not cheap, but that's okay. We'll be able to make it work. So these guys have no general. Seems right. Hello, sirs. Goodbye, sirs. I'll buy this down at least one time. 
I know like the inflation is, is such a it's a problem, but we're doing what we can here. All right, so let's peace everybody out now. You guys will get uh give me all your money. That's fine. Uh Aiden will get pieced out. So we got busted spine on the ma'am. So let's at least steal some maps from them. Um steal maps. No, 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 not fabricate. Well, actually, yeah, let's fabricate some claims on them. Get a claim on uh Sure, a couple of claims is good. We'll come back for it. No big deal. These guys will get pieced out as well. Trade power and all their money, because that is a center of trade. A Aiden is, rather. So that's a little bit of extra occupation that we'll have here. Now, these guys here are going to become our vassal and give me their money. Oh. Uh, really? Okay, yeah, this is, won this is wonky. Look at this. This is one click. 5%. Okay, I'm going to have to submit that to Paradox, because that is definitely a bug. But it's okay. So what I can do now is I can turn right around and reconquest all this. Kill will get called in. Oh no, anyways, Mutapa took over. So this is fine. We will go for this Werder province, I guess. And I will just head on in because remember guys, I literally just killed his army <laughs> because they were renting Condot, right? So we're uh, we're in a good spot now. Ooh, where'd you guys come from, huh? Oh, they called in these guys again? How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? Let's uh, head on down this way. Let's have these guys grouped up over here. That's an easy dub. A rising star, you say? Half off admin guy or prestige? I'll take the prestige. Where are you guys going, huh? What you thinking? What you thinking? Acting up. So what we're going to do is we're going to return all these cores to them. That's going to be solid. And then we'll take whatever we can via claims. That's going to cost Diplo, so we got to kind of be a little bit smart about this. Um, I don't know. Getting some more trade power in Aiden would be good for us, right? Make us a little bit more money. It's just a bummer, man, because both of these nodes are pretty ter pretty terrible. It would be probably better for us to move our trade capital, but eventually I'd like to move my capital to Alexandria and just steer everything up there, so... For now, most of our money is coming from tax and production. Let's uh, get you guys down here. You guys come over here. These guys will win this siege over here. Damn it, man. Keep on attacking my vassal. Stop attacking my vassal, dude. Oh my gosh. There you go. Oh, strengthen monarchists? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. I will lose a trader for strengthening the monarchists. Let's see who we get. Can we get another trade efficiency guy? Hey, how about it? How about that? That's awesome. Oh, and Mams are at war again with the Ottomans. Shark, yeah. So sadly, it looks like we're going to end up needing to fight the Ottomans here uh, sooner or later. Yeah, they're hostile to us even. Two Sicilies formed. So that's looking pretty good. I like that. Get you guys over here. Shift consolidate. Get on in and clap their armies. Get you guys over here. Should probably get these guys down here as well. It's not bad. It's a lot of AE and a lot of Diplo, but... At the very least, we need to return these, and then we'll probably just take money. I don't really want us to be spending Diplo if I don't need to right now. And I know I've got a couple of comments being like, "Oh, you need to, you need to, you know, play super fast and loose, and you have to just like attack them instantly and siege them down the entirety of this entire area." And I, I uh, respectfully disagree. I don't think you have to do any specific playstyle to have fun. And I don't really like to spend Diplo if I can avoid it, right? I value Diplo mana so I can spend it on uh, production dev and stuff like that, right? So let the spices flow. Very good. So, um, oh, right. We have to occupy his capital. I knew that. Um, let's have these guys over here. Ooh, shoot, man. Oh, they fled. Sick. All right, cool. So then I guess we'll also like... Ooh, yoink some dev? No. Take their money, though? See, like this one, it allows me to pick the money. 
Okay, it's only four AE, very solid. We'll uh we'll come back and take the claims ourselves later on. No big deal. All right, that'll allow us to pay off our last loan here. Get our armies grouped up in a area where the AE or the supply limit is reasonable. Though except for the Mercs, the Mercs we want to keep them separate at least a little bit. Actually, don't know where they are. I, oh, I got rid of the Mercs. Right, this is all my infantry armies now. So these guys have how much liberty? Yeah, it looks like they're right about at zero. I was going to say I could enforce religion on them, but that would uh, cause some issues. Guaranteed it would cause some issues. So we're going to hold off on that. I'm a core at all. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm already behind on tech. I'm behind on ideas. I know, but we need to do this. Because this will allow me to um, do this as well. But it also, more importantly, will allow us to... Um, um, ooh, national unrest is solid. It will allow us to um, make more money, which at the end of the day is really our issue is that we don't have enough money. Spread the good news. Missionary strength. Very solid. All right. So let's take a look here. Three stab. Damn. That's going to be tough. But um, we're very close to that. Solomonic Empire government reform. Establishment of a permanent capital. Okay. Unite the Horn. So that's a couple of provinces over here. That'll be good. Contact with Portugal. Year is at least 1550. And discover... Okay. So we're waiting on that. Train the Kawa, which is professionalism. Which we're just going to have to wait on. That's what I'm bringing my army over here to do is to drill them. Possibly fight rebels, but more importantly, drill. That drill is what's going to give us that professionalism yearly. And now we just have to kind of sit back and wait until we can um, embrace the institution. Okay. So yeah, it'll come eventually. It's also, once it spreads into the Soba province, very good. Oh yeah, that'll cut a little bit down. Looks like it's... Um, just a bunch of our provinces are adding a little bit here and there, so it's expensive, but that's okay. I'll take the prestige. It's fine. Uh, nope, I don't like this one. Continue to co uh, convert everything. All right, so we can pick either. So this is a nice thing. We are guaranteed to have the monarchists in power, so it does not matter who we pick. Um, well, I think we have to go with the admin mana. The same number of points. No, this one's got one more point, but we need the admin mana. So we're going to go with the status guy. You'll see. He will stay in power. Oh, nice. Discipline advisor. And he's 20 years old. Very solid. He's uh, not the best, but I'll take it. A workshop in Gerga. You can do that. I know I want to I want to save my money, but if I can... Uh... Oh, really? Oh, yeah. It's just because we're converting it. I knew that. Derp. I do love to see this happening. Oh, you love to see it happen, folks. You really do. Oh, it looks like Artemis fixed this. It used to, um, when you click this, it would shift the little hands a, a minute. Either that or it was fixed in 1.31.2 or dot one. Okay, very good. And we will add a workshop here. How much will the workshop add? 0. 0.8, eh, it's okay. 0. 0.3 in Jazeera though. Worth. How's our gold income? Gold income looking good. Did I get another gold mine over here? No. We're just really making that much money down here. Solid. Rock solid. Lots of slave provinces, though. It's just like... The grain provinces are solid. Those really help us out with our force limit. Speaking of... Still not even done with that. Done with our idea groups. So what we need to do is we need to save up our mana, embrace institution, and then take tech, and then finish out our idea groups because we are so far behind. Like, check this out. I guarantee you Ottoman's almost... Okay, actually, we're... we're. Oh. Really? Oh, okay. So we're like right on time, actually. The issue is, is they're 9 11, 11 and we're 9, 9, 9 So quite a bit behind them. Speaking of... It tells me we should probably find an ally somewhere. Somebody that could possibly help us out. Ooh, I love that flag for the two Sicilies. That's a, um, that's from my mod pack.
shoot my army here is taking attrition aren't they all right let's um split the armies up here oh it's because our general died son of a gun i didn't even see it there we go that'll help out with that truce will expire with the mammies in 42 oh there you go they actually left cairo okay cool well that's actually really good for us um let's build some spy network on these guys i will hold off i think we need to take tech first so once we embrace institution here which i'm willing to go indebted to the burgers for it if i need to how big are our loans right now 200 eh, that's a pretty good lot size loan I think if we wait like a couple a year or two, we'll be able to embrace it pretty pretty easily. Yeah, these guys are hostile because they want my provinces. All right, Auto Man. Who are you guys rival to? Everybody. Literally everybody. Let's pick uh, Mutapa as well. So we are rival to your rival here. Can I send them a scornful insult? Let them know that they suck and that we hate them. Wait, we should do that to Mutapa as well, just to make sure that we get that uh, get our PP up a little bit. We'll do it with these guys as well, just to make sure that um, Timmy knows that we like them. Oh, that, Timmy's their enemy, not their rival, sadly. And like I said, this fluctuation has something to do with Abrahamic connections. So it's... Um, Abrahamic connections. It's some, it has something to do with that, but basically what it's doing is it's basically resetting and uh, it is, the devs are aware of it. Would be a good move for us to attack them and take all this land up here, though. And we're almost done calling or converting this. Look at that. You love it. Love to see it happen. You know what? We're waiting on institution, so we might as well take this. Look at our force limit now. Woohoo! 75,000. Ottomans are beefy, though. 123! What's the Ottoman force limit? They have 43 professionalism. That is disgusting. Their force limit is 132. You know, offensive. Their sieges are going to be nuts. Their generals are going to be nuts. I'm dreading it. Okay. I suppose it's the time. Who are you allied to? A couple of guys down here I don't care about. I can just blockade them, so that's no problem. What's your army looking like? 20,000 with 20,000 in the in the uh, reserves, so we're solid. Well, all we need to do is siege down Cairo, honestly. Uh, Shewa. Where's Shewa? Is that down here? I'll take a half off mill advisor. Yeah, half off mill advisor is definitely solid. Our inflation is going up much slower now. As we start to see income from uh, other other, uh, um, oh my gosh, the Ottomans. We have been warned by the man by the Ottomans, man. That is so corny. That is so incredibly corny. Ottoman heard we were gonna we wanted to have some fun today. Let's get a value cannon for one. Man. Disappointing. Once we get these provinces converted, that will um handle a lot of the unrest that we're having in these areas. Ottomans declared war on Hissing Kaifa. Dude. AI is just like out to get the player, it seems. How are we doing here? Yeah, we ha we're going to end up needing to save this up. This is fine. Uh, I was thinking that maybe we wanted to do the... Um... First idea group should probably... For next one should be trade, right? Because that'll give us the 30% goods produced. So I think we have to do it. The Memlukian Rebels. Okay, so let's suppress with you and suppress with you and that should tick those down guys those guys down so we'll just wait a few months 
Deus Vault will be here soon as well, which is solid. We've been waiting on that. A little bit of a longer episode. I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, if you did enjoy, though, I was uh, so hyped up about destroying the Mammies. This would be my opportunity. These guys are allied to the auto, right? So if you guys enjoyed the episode, make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ding the bell. And uh, join the subreddit, Discord, Twitter. All those things linked in the description. And if you enjoy the content and you want to support it, check out the Patreon linked in the description. But that's all I got for you guys. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.